got to turn her watch off. I've got to turn mine on to track how many far I walk, but I know we walk two miles. So she's going to finish sewing her bags. She said she's going to send me a video today. Oh, I've sold the ones I'm going to be selling today, so I, have, I could do that. But I'm going to be selling them, so if I give her the video today and you see it tomorrow, they could all be gone. <laughs> so I'm going to wait till later tonight so she can put it up tomorrow. Whatever I have left. Put it up tomorrow. I was going to put it up tonight. Well. Oh, then you'll see it tonight and tomorrow. Right, yeah. I see. They have a better shot at them at that rate because. Yeah. Not too bad. I'm I'll, hopeful, let's just say. <laughs> she's I'm wishing hopeful. and hoping. Well, I've already sold how many? I don't even know. Six? And they haven't she's, even been put up yet. She's an entrepreneur. I am. Mm -hmm. She's a lot of things, though. So. <laughs> well, good morning. Today is Wednesday, October 14th, and we have to go to the bank to put some money in to cover a bill, and then we have to go to Kroger's because I have to uh, pick up a couple things. I wanted to wait until um, Friday because you get a couple things for fuel points that Jim uses. I don't use it. But, um,
progress because I think that even though I'm going slow, you know, I'm not going to look back because if I look back, I'm going to regret some of the decisions I've made as far as I could have reached my goal by now if I would have kept looking forward instead of backwards. But sometimes you just got to look back to see how far you've come because uh, a lot of times I don't realize that I've got come along. I did cut back on all my foods and cut down on my portion sizes, my weight would start peeling off. I know that. But then I'd feel like I'm on a diet. And, um, no. and you know, now that I'm only paying like $21 a month to go to Weight Watchers, I don't complain as much. You notice that? I really don't complain as much. Because, I don't know, $21 doesn't seem much to me. But 56 seemed like a lot. It really did seem like a lot. But I need to change up my eating somewhat, I know, but I have my favorite foods and like I'll watch like different videos and I'll see different things that people are, are making and that and I'm thinking, that looks really good, that looks like something I would like to make. And I know I want to make it, but then I don't make it. I, I should hire them to come. I wish I was like rich because I would, I, as much as I do love to cook, I love to cook. I really do love to cook. But uh, I just wish I had a cook that could come in and give me the right portion sizes. And, and I could say, you know, like, this is what I'd like for breakfast, this is what I'd like for lunch, and this is what I'd like for dinner. And uh, and then just have that all prepared and just sit down. Like Jim, you know, he, he could care. You know, he just sits down and eats. He just knows that he's going to sit down and he's going to have a meal. He knows he's going to open up the drawer and there's going to be clean clothes. He knows that he's going to come home, home and the house is clean. Of course, I know that I don't have to worry about shoveling the snow or cutting the grass. I know all of that stuff, too. So, I mean, it's just, you know, things that you take for granted in life, I guess. But I think I'm going to have a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast with a banana and a cup of tea. And then for lunch, I think... And see, now I'm eating three meals. See, before I wasn't eating three meals. But I think at the beginning, I was hungry more than I am now. And I guess I've just reached a point where I know that I don't want to be hungry anymore. I'm just, I want to enjoy my life. I want to eat what I want to eat within reason. Because if I could eat what I wanted to eat, I'd have a donut every day. I trust me. And I know I could figure it in every day to... Uh, included into my diet but then it's not really healthy. It's not something I should be doing. And so I just just know that I, I don't know. Oh I was we Jim and I were watching the emergency, I think it's called, on ABC. And somebody was calling 911 about somebody that was laying on the ground. And then they said, well can you excuse me for a minute? I have to put my order in here at the and so she says, yeah, I'll get a chicken sandwich. With, and then the operator's going, excuse me, ma'am, uh, where is where is your location? And I'd like some fries with it. She's just going out of order her whole order, not really even caring. So it's just, I thought it was funny. There's not much on to watch on TV, so we just got to watch what we want to watch. But, anyways, are But... I'm so far behind in my videos. I've been trying to keep up on my videos and I'm just so far behind. So I think I'm just going to start today and just watch one from each channel and then try to catch up. I didn't watch any of the collab for the Instapot. I got an Instapot for my... Uh, Hello, welcome to Huntington. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm just going to deposit that. Alrighty, I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. Um, I just um, never used it. So I, there, I know there's going to be all kinds of recipes that I can use, but the, once again it comes back to if I could get Jim to eat something a little bit more than just meat and potatoes all the time. It's just, he's, eat, he's ate this way for almost 50 years, so I'm not going to change him now. I know that, but I can keep trying.
trying. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can. So, anyway, get on with the rest of my day. I'll show you what I ate. Denise supposedly is going to send me a video today of uh, her bags that she's making. So, if she did send it to me, I'll put it at the end of the video for you. But if not, I'll leave her uh, right here. Her Instagram account. You can go over there and see it on there. So. Alrighty. I guess that's about it. I'm done enough babbling for now. So I will talk to you guys at breakfast. Okay, for breakfast we're going to have some oatmeal. Um, I made it a little bit too watery. It's like a little too thin. But, uh, yeah, well, it'll do. And a cup of tea. Today is Wednesday, October 14th. I started my day with a prayer. My quote is, do not be afraid of going slowly. Be afraid of standing still. It's 5.0 for my tea and my banana, 4 points for my oatmeal, and 1 point for my milk. So I still have 18 points left. I thought I'd show you the view out of my living room window. Look at the beautiful trees turning different colors. Okay, for lunch, we're just going to have a small little lunch, which is really looking like a breakfast, but uh, it's a 5.0 for my grapefruit tea, egg, and berries, and 4 points for my half of a lender's bagel, and 1 point for a laughing cow cheese. So it's 5 points, so I still have 13 points left for my dinner. Okay, I'm going to have a snack. I'm going to have a uh, skinny pop, which, which is 3 points. Uh, they cost a little bit more to buy them in the individual bags, but this way they're portioned out and they'll have it the right way. And then I'm going to drink some more of my water. So, three points. That leaves me with uh, ten points for dinner. Okay, earlier I had my popcorn for three points. I forgot to take it off, so it only left me with ten. My dinner is twelve, so I'm two over, but I'm still within my blue dot. Uh, this is a healthy dinner. What do you see how pretty it looks? But it's still high in points, twelve points. Two points for my Carp Master Wrap, four points for my ounce of Swiss cheese. I realize that the cheese, I could probably have a Velveeta slice for a one point, but, you know, I like my Swiss, so I'm going to have it. I'm going to pay the three points. Two points for um, two tablespoons of the uh, avocado salsa, one point for an ounce of ham, three points for my holy guacamole, and zero for my iced tea, my cucumber, my tomato, my spinach, and my sugar-free jello. So it's 10, 12 points. Look how colorful that plate looks. I think, I think it's a healthy looking sandwich. So um, Jello, and I'm going to try this. I tasted a little bit of it, and I have to tell you, I like it. I like it so far. And these are the Carb Master tortilla I'm using, and sugar-free iced tea. Well, I did stop by the post office on my way running around today. And Valerie Reese, she'll be happy to know your card finally came. She sent it to me. Let's see if I can get it out of the envelope without having to turn the TV off. To or turn the TV off. Turn the uh, camera off. There we go. I knew I could do it. I put it in my mouth last time and all you guys go, No, nah, don't do that. Which I agree. I shouldn't have done that. Look how pretty hummingbirds. It said, the older you get... The more memories you gather, I enjoy hearing your stories. Your life has been full of wonderful memories. Cheers to another year older and another year of memories. Hopefully they are all happy ones. Happy birthday, Valerie Reese. Well, thank you, Valerie. She did try to send it to me on time in September, but it kept coming back to her. So she, uh, I sent her my address somehow. I have a really bad post office, I, I, especially now with everything going on. It's just like really, really bad. Um, Denise didn't do any sewing today. <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. As Gomer Pyle said, surprise, surprise, surprise. I could have told you that. <laughs> but she said that she's going to do some sewing tomorrow, and so she'll send me a video of the uh, things that she did. But I will put a, um, a link. Well, this is her channel name right here uh, over on Instagram, so you can check her out on Instagram and see when maybe she'll post something before she gets it over to me. See that clock is a clock tells you time and that clock tells you what day of the week it is. It's a retirement clock. Some days I might need that. Not today, but some days I do need that. I'm thinking, what day is this? 
But anyway, uh, I stayed on plan. It was like a point or two over. I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, I do have to tell you, I did like that guacamole um, salsa by Tostito or Tostada or whatever it is. It was good. It was really, really good. I dipped my cucumbers and my tomatoes in it. And the sandwich was very filling. And I've decided that green jello is my favorite jello, lime. And uh, that's about it. So I don't really have anything to do tonight. I'm catching up on my videos. I did do a Halloween tag. And I see that Anna over at Anna's Journey to a Healthier Life tagged me on the Tuesday tag that Tracy does. So I'll do that tomorrow. And um, just have a few more videos and then I'll be all caught up. Finally. So, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button and share it if you think somebody might like to see it. And as always, stay safe. I'll talk to you guys in the morning.